G'day everybody. Now, if you're going whiting fishing, it's a fantastic, tasty fish sought out by many Australians who just want to get out there and wet a line. Now, we are coming into that time of the year where the whiting will inundate our beaches, estuaries and rivers. And a lot of guys and girls like to get out there and try their luck. Now, I'm going to do a simple setup of what you may need in your box. Now, when you come down to your local Anaconda store, there's a whole variety of tackle boxes. Of course, you've got the single one, two and three tier tackle boxes. You've got the larger bags, the tackle bags, but you don't need that for whiting. Whiting are real dainty fish. Okay, so we're talking about light. So for me, I like to use this as the Plano topper. It's the bucket topper. You can put all your tackle in the top here, both sides. You can also lift that out and in goes all your gear. In the bucket, you can easily pick it up and take it away. That's number one. Secondly, the terminal tackle. So what have we got here? I've got some really small sinkers, size zero. Okay, that's pretty small. I actually go down to a triple zero, which is really pea size. But all the way up to a size three, you change the weight depending on the current in which you're throwing your line into. The swivels, we're keeping it small, remember? Light weight. The hook size, we've gone from a size two to a size four and to a size six long shank. Okay, they're a worm hook uh, from mustard, super sharp, but of course with that, allows you to put that worm, yabby or cockle right up the shank, gives it more food for the fish. And of course, whiting love that red tube. Okay, if you're fishing the beaches, put on some red tube, just about two inches and put that above your hook and they'll come in, they'll see it, and then they'll find the bait, obviously. Now, you may have seen on the show a scaler bag. At the end of the day, when we've iced our fish down, we put them in the scaler bag if you're in a boat, throw it out the back, hit the throttle, tow that along, and it'll take all the scales off the fillet. Much easier to fill it at the end of the day as well. But if you're back on the beach, this is a bait keeper. You put the belt through that, put the belt around your waist, on it goes there, and you put your bait in there. How simple is that? Pretty easy stuff. Now, if we're going into Lido, we're going fairly light from say four pounds, six pound to eight pound, nothing too heavy. Remember, everything's light. We're talking about a bit of a dainty fish all the way down to King George whiting up to our yellowfin whiting in Queensland and New South Wales. Some braid scissors. If you want to, don't want to get fishy hands, you can go for just some normal gloves. These here are the polyester with rubber coating from Jarvis Walker. Your brag mat is important, but in this case here, I'm going to go the LV hardened fish stick, nice and easy. And it's got all the size limits on the back as well. So pretty easy stuff there. And the fillet knife, last but not least, make sure it's long, it's narrow, and at the same time, super sharp. So you can get out there and take that flesh straight away from the bone. There's your whiting kit set out, good luck.